So I'm here with Damien. Now, Damien, what's your role here at Harvest? Um, I'm the chief botanist. Got it. So, you know, on the cultivation side of the business, today we're talking a lot about nutrients. For your harvest facilities, what's your philosophy in terms of feeding plants? Uh, we like to take a science-based approach to mm -hmm. our crop nutrition program. Um, we do a lot of testing with petiole sampling, and we also take a lot of feed and drain analysis. Mm -hmm. And we do that in order to, to understand the plant's nutritional needs along the different uh, growth phases that the plant undergoes mm -hmm. during cultivation. And then we match the plant's nutritional needs with the, the fertilizer recipe so that we're um, always optimized with our growth. We, ne we never have any limiting factors. Before we jumped on camera, Damien, you mentioned that you did some studies at the University of Arizona actually with one of the nutrient products that you guys are using here. Uh, correct, uh, we did some work with um, the the reap product but we did do some work with that and we saw some great results using it yeah. and that's kind of interesting too because rare earth minerals sometimes people don't think of that term being associated with nutrients for plants correct don't you think yes I mean it, it typically when you speak about crop nutrition um, you tend to stick to the 13 macro and minor elements mm -hmm. however the rare earth minerals are even below that they're like super micro elements right mm -hmm. so you only need them in small amounts for them to show great benefit to the plant's growth. Yeah, I almost kind of think of it as like, you know, that, that blueberry flaxseed antioxidant smoothie that someone might have in the morning. Correct. Right? Versus maybe their main entree for dinner. Correct. That's a good way of putting it. Okay. Damien, thank you for the knowledge. I really appreciate your time. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed being here. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with Ian Lev. Now, Ian Lev owns and has started the company High Yield. That is correct. We started mm -hmm. High Yield about five years ago. Okay, so why did you guys start High Yield? I knew the scientists and owners that had this product, which was a rare earth-based nutrient uh, that had been developed for traditional agriculture, corn, soybean, wheat, rubber trees, etc. And we had the opportunity to acquire the, the rights to the product. What was the main focal point of this nutrient? What does it do? So the nutrient works the same on all crops. It's agnostic to the crop. And what it does is reduces the salinity in the vascular system of the plant, uh, which allows for better bioavailability and uptake of nutrients within the crop, which ultimately leads to a healthier crop with higher yields naturally. Got it. So rare earth nutrients. So it's meaning like this is coming out of, what is it, like broken down rock or... It's, you know, is it yeah. clay? What is it? It's, uh, so it's an interesting backstory. Uh, the product itself comes from an abandoned zinc mine in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, actually, the raw material is from the mine tailings, so all the earth they pulled out of the mine, uh, they pulled all the zinc out, melted it down, extracted it, and what was left um, were all these millions and millions of tons of, of earth. So the tailings from this abandoned zinc mine had rare earths in the right concentrations to be developed into a fertilizer. Awesome. So how would you recommend people use this nutrient? Do they use it as a standalone with other nutrients? What does it work with? What does it maybe not work with? Yeah, so uh, great question. It was formulated to be work with anything. So it's a, uh, it's a liquid nutrient. It's 001. It does not affect your PPM or EC. So it is actually manufactured to be in addition to anything else you're, you're feeding your plants and actually optimize those base nutrients. So it doesn't replace anything you're already using. Uh, it can replace some other supplements because it is increasing the health of the plant or eliminate the need for those additional supplements. Um, but it was created specifically to work with any other base nutrients and not impact your fertigation program. Yeah, got it. So it's not your primary NPK. It's really more no. of the, we'll call them the accessorial minerals that help the NPK and maybe some of the other Exactly. So uh, it, other it's, it, it's added value to the nutrients you're already using. Ian, thank you so much for telling us about High Yield and REAP. I really appreciate it. Nate, thanks for your time.